Cajun hot sauce. Oh, hot sauce, good. Hot sauce, better than brains. Woo, that was warm. <laughs> Put my friend right next to me here. <laughs> That'll work. Sort of. All right. <laughs> Today we're going to be reviewing zombie Cajun hot sauce, um, and uh, this is uh, we'll have Nick read the ingredients, and then we're going to try it uh, two ways. Uh, we're going to try some on some jambalaya that we made up, and then we're going to try uh, a couple tablespoons of. And I'll actually go grab us some spoons. In the meantime, Nick will tell you the ingredients of the sauce. Uh, ingredients. Aged pepper mash, vinegar, salt, xanthan gum. Okay. One second. Start shaking it up and then we'll put it on our, uh, our jambalaya. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I'm going to try, here, just I'll, I'll put some on yours. The jambalaya we made is already spiced, so I don't know how, uh, how well this is going to go, but put a, quite a bit on there. So let's give it a try. We've had this before, it's a, it's a milder sauce. Um, Well, what sauce, you were talking about it before, earlier, what sauce would you compare it to? Tabasco. Okay, yeah. Yeah, similar, uh, similar ingredients to Tabasco. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like it. It's pretty good. Here, who, um, who makes it? It's made by the Panola Pepper Company Corporation in, uh, Lake Providence, Louisiana. Oh, not a surprise. So it's also made in Louisiana, just like Tabasco. Let's try some on some ham. Well, I hope you're all having a wonderful Halloween. So happy Halloween. Um, Nick's been out uh, trick-or-treating once and then he'll be going again, uh, which night? Halloween night. Is that Friday? Mm-hmm. Okay. Very similar to Tabasco. Um, how would you, how would you compare it? Um, well, how I guess how would you rank it as, as for taste? Nine out of ten. So it's one of your favorites of all time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you like it even more than original Tabasco? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, 
Yeah, it has that real similar to Tabasco taste, that tart, a little acidic. Um, definitely a vinegar heavy sauce. It's got that, you know, real nice cover with the, the zombie out on the bayou. What do you waiting for heat? Yeah, for me, for flavor and for um, taste, uh, well, actually, for, for heat, it's not much. Probably, probably a three, maybe. Um, for, for, for heat, I'd say it's a two. A two, okay. It does have a good taste. If you like the aged pepper mash flavor, um, we're trying it on a couple different things here. Chicken and some sausage and some shrimp. Ingredients are pretty straightforward, so um, definitely if you like the Tabasco flavors, you would like this a lot. Taste, um, I'm not a huge fan of the heavy vinegar flavors, um, so Nick gives it a nine. I'd probably I probably I like it. I'm gonna probably give it more of a six. I would say. Hmm. Well, all right. Let's give it a let's give it a try for a spoonful. Okay. We'll finish our meal later on. You first, or me? Give it to you. Nice spoon. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bottoms up. How's the, how's the kick with that much? Nothing much. Nothing much, okay. Do the same. Mine's almost spilling. I'll spill a little bit of it. There we go. Zombie Cajun. Ooh, that's a little, that's a little harsher that way. Mm. <laughs> um, give me hiccups. Uh, very harsh in that quantity. Uh, don't like it straight like that. Uh, but definitely, it's not going to give me hiccups, but yeah, I would definitely, definitely favor it on food. Oh, sorry. So, try a little bit more of chicken. So cool, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, it's our review of Zombie Cajun Hot Sauce. So goodbye to our zombie friends. <laughs> I thought those are pretty cool masks. And see you guys later. later.